Hello guys. Good evening. Hello, David. Hi, how are you? How was work? <laughs> Exhausting. So, so. So, yes. so, so so, you know. <laughs> All right. But I went to do exercise and that makes me feel better. Oh, you want to do exercise and you haven't been able to. Is that is that what you said? You want you want to do exercise, but you have not I went. been able. Oh, I, you went to do ex. Okay. Yes, right. I went to do to do exercise. Okay, all right, very good. That's good. All right. I guess I'm glad to see you here. Um. So we're just gonna wait for everybody else. Uh, how are you, Eric? How was your day? Are you still? Yeah, good. Are you still at your workplace? Yes, I'm working today. I'm going to be leaving until tomorrow in the morning. Wow. What is it that you do for a living? I forgot. Uh, well, I work at the airport. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. What do you do there? I'm sorry. I know that you yes. speak probably, but I forgot. I work. Uh -huh. No, no, no. The war, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. Well, I work at the let's say the radar room. The the what room? We provide information to radar radar room. Oh, okay, okay. You work you work at the tower. R A D A O. Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. Hey, that's that's very that's that's awesome. So how's traffic nowadays? You know, like how's air traffic nowadays? Well, if we thought about the last year, it is uh, it isn't normal yet. So, but it is increasing day by day. But uh, I'm not pretty sure if this it is going to be increasing because I guess after the elections, mm -hmm. uh, something is going to happen. And also because uh, the airlines are asking for the the the, the new PCR test. Okay. If you want to go out, you have to present a, a test. And then if you want to come into the country, also you have to present a test, PCR test. All right, so it's harder to travel now. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, Emer, what about you? How was, how, was your, uh, how, was your, how was work today? Pretty tough, to be honest. All right. It's usually like that. Why? Why? Why do you think it's, it was tough? Because we have we had a problem <laughs> with a with the program. Oh, you had a problem. We have to fix it very fast. Very fast. Okay. All right. All right, man. The, that that's good, you know. But at least you do, you know, what what you like. All right. And, and anyways, guys, welcome Sandra. Welcome Stephanie, Laura, Eric, and Emer. All right, guys, let's get started, all right? All right, so, oh, oh before I get into this, okay, uh, did you guys finish? Um, where are you standing in the platform, guys? How are you doing with, uh, with the progress in the platform? Pretty well. Okay. All right, let's go through it real quick, guys, okay? Uh, did you finish the listening exercise? Yes. You have, if you have any, that's okay. Okay, we can go ahead and work on it right now. But, uh, but uh, let's let's work through it. Okay, all right. So, have you all finished the exercise, guys? Have you all finished uh, the listening exercise? Yes. All right. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So, what's the answer for number one? Different. Different. Okay. Uh, different. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, what's the answer for number two? Typical. Typical, okay. All right, number three? Different. Different, okay. All right, such a big quiz. Okay, good job, guys. Awesome. All right, guys, so um, let's go back to the presentation. All right, guys, so uh, we have very good a very cool topic today right we're going to talk about who can help me read 
We're going to talk about what? Any, uh, pass. Uh, we, we're going to talk about pass, habitual with use to and would. Very good, guys. Okay, right. So, uh, yes, guys, we're going to talk about used to and would. Okay. But before we jump into that, let's talk about some expressions with keep and stay. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> whenever we use guys keep or stay, we say keep in touch. Repeat, guys, keep in touch. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. All right. Keep in touch. Keeping in touch means to, you know, to, to have communication to, with someone, okay? All right? Hey, keep in touch, okay? Let's keep in touch. Laura, let's keep in touch, okay? Emer, let's keep in touch. Got it? All right, give me, all right, so, so you can say, for example, you know what? I um, haven't seen, I haven't seen my mom or I haven't seen my sister for a while now, but we still keep in touch. Got it? All right. Give me another example, Eric. Okay. So for example, if, well, it is the same example if you want to be keeping touch with somebody else, maybe a friend. All right, very good, okay. Um, or you say, I love to be, I love to, to keep in touch with my parents or my friends or my colleagues. All right, all right, very good. That's a good ex good example. All right, plus for Eric, guys, good job, Eric. All right, Laura, give me another example. All right, let's play something, guys. Okay, uh, the game is gonna call. It's gonna be called. All right, five seconds to answer. Okay, so you have five seconds to answer. If not, I'm gonna jump into the other person. All right, so let's get ready. Laura, give me another example of keep or stay in touch. Five. Okay. Four. Okay. Bye. Bye, David. Keep in touch. All right, very good. <laughs> Bye, David. Keep in touch. Okay, good job. All right, plus for Laura, guys. Good job. Emer, let's go. All right, give me another example with stay in touch. I stay in touch with my friend from high school. Very good. Okay, plus for Emer. Good job. All right, Sandra. All right, uh, give me an example with keep in touch in the past. Okay, my friend Catherine uh, moved to French. But we to kept France. in touch. France, to not France. French. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry. My friend Catherine moved to to France, and we kept in touch. Very good. In touch. In touch. Just touch. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Sandra. Awesome. Stephanie, give me the last example. Okay. Uh, simple present or simple past? Actually, let's do it in the past. Okay. Let's 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 just stay. Okay, uh, let me see. Mm, my uncle, my uncle lived, lives in the U.S., um, but, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> my right. uncle used to live in the U.S., but, mm, and we used to keep in touch. We used to keep in touch? All right. When you say when you say when you two guys, we used to keep in touch. <laughs> All right. Very good to keep in yeah, touch. Okay. Good job. Let's for Stephanie. All right. Yeah. Very good. Let's work on that fluency, Stephanie. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Um. So next, next, next expression, next expression, guys, would be keep things in perspective. Repeat, guys. Keep things in perspective. Keep things in perspective. All right. Stay in, in perspective. perspective. What does that mean, guys? What do you think that means? Sandra, what, what if I if I if I told you, hey, Sandra, keep things in perspective. What would that mean? It's like keep your goals until you achieve it. All right, very good. Okay, very good. All right, it's to keep your goals. Good job. All right, hey, that's that's a, that was a very good example, right? All right, stay awake in class, everybody. Stay awake in class. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake right. Let's let's talk about this one. Okay. Stay awake keep up with. What do you think? Keep up with. Keeping up with the Kardashians. What is that? It's, it's, hmm? it's like showing interest in something. Nope. I Laura, do you have? <laughs> I think Laura wanted to say something. I'm not pretty sure, but something like. 
Keeping with someone else. Keeping with someone else. Okay, all right. Okay. Like to communication with someone else or something like that. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it, okay? But good, good try, okay? Don't be afraid of making mistakes, guys, okay? We all make mistakes, okay? Uh, but no, guys, when I say keeping up with the Kardashians, all right? <laughs> Have you ever heard about this show, guys? It's like, it's like to be connect with with them. Kind of. You're getting close, okay? Keeping up with the Kardashians, guys. Keeping up with means to stand, okay? To um, yeah, it would be to stand, to stand uh, or follow, okay? To follow. This would be like follow the Kardashians, okay? But not literally. Well, actually, it could be literally, okay? If I say, okay, hey, um, Stephanie, let's go run, okay? All right, let's 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 go um, let's go run it, okay? So, if I told you that, Stephanie, all right, and you get tired, and I'm like, and you're falling behind, you have to keep up with me. Got it? I'm gonna say, oh, you cannot keep up with me. You can't keep up with me. Got it? So it's to follow, guys. To follow something. To to keep the pace. Okay? Got it? Mantener el ritmo, guys. All right. In this case, keeping up with the Kardashians means mantenerse al tanto. Okay. Got it? Got it. Very good, guys. Awesome. All right. Now, keep or stay out of trouble. All right. Do we all understand what this means? Yes. Yes. Very good. All right. <laughs> then, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at keep or stay in touch. Well, we, we've seen that already, right? So keep us staying in touch, okay? So this is the, the same one. All right, guys. So those are the expressions with keep and stay, okay? Now, can I say stay up with the, with the Kardashians? Stay up with the, with the Kardashians? Would it mean the same? Yes or not? Maybe not. No, guys, okay. All right, so what I want to show you here, guys, is that some of them can be interchangeable, okay? This can be interchangeable, and this, I'm sorry, and this right here can be interchangeable, okay? But the other expressions are not interchangeable with keep or stay, got it? Do you understand what I mean with interchangeable? Yes. Yeah. All right, very good, okay? That you cannot switch positions between them, okay? Claudia, welcome, Claudia. How are you? Good to see you. All right, guys. Any questions here? I find, excuse me, yesterday I I didn't have internet. I I, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, you're good. Okay. All right. Uh, very good, guys. Okay. So let's uh let's get some practice, guys. Okay. Do me a favor. Well, actually, yeah. Do me a favor, guys. Can somebody please take a screenshot, and we're gonna take ten minutes to practice this, okay? Actually, less than that, okay? All right, so you're gonna practice when friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch, okay? What's your answer for that? All right, just just five minutes, okay? All right, let's answer these questions. All right, so who could help me take a screenshot, guys, and send it to the group? <laughs> All right, so who could help me take a screenshot, guys? I'll... I'm one cent already sent. Oh, okay, All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. You are awesome. Okay, guys, very good. So just five You're minutes, welcome. guys. I'll be checking in you, and uh, and that's it. All right. Eric. We're gonna discuss just the first, the first uh, sentence, or no, all of no, them? all of them, all of them. These are just questions, okay? Real quick, just five minutes. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go. Hello. Hey, teacher. man. How you? I like doing? that background, man. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm in Paris. <laughs> Paris, man. That's true. Yes. All right. All right. So let's go then. 
Okay, let's do it. I have a question. Tell me. Yesterday I got confused. Uh, the real conjunct conjunction is in contrast or in contrast to? In contrast to. In contrast to. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's go, guys. Okay, when friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? I, I'm sorry, repeat that, that again. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? Right. Yes, I do. I try to keep in touch with them. All right. It doesn't matter when, where they are. Continue. For example, stress. Uh, can you keep things in pers in perspective? Mm. Okay, in this case, I don't know, maybe yes. I think that we have to answer that question. Just yes. Right now. Yeah, 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 you just need to answer those questions, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry if you didn't know I was here. All right. Okay. Well, Stephanie, when you are stressed, can you keep things in thin, things in perspective? Perspective. Perspective. Yes. Perspective. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, keeping things in perspective. Uh, yes. Uh, Teacher, in this question, uh, I think it's a just no question, right? Yes. I mean, but you can add information. It's just like, what would you answer if somebody asked you that in Spanish, right? So you could say, um, yes, I, I still keep in touch with my friends even though they're far away. In fact, I have a, I have a grandmother. She lives in Australia. Um, and we usually, you know, we keep in touch, right? So, I mean, you can add extra information to that. Okay, got it. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, after studying all night, how do you stay awake in class, Laura? Well, you know what? When I'm when I'm study when I'm study all night, I, I drink a coffee or I drink a soda or shake with soda and coffee, or also I. I take a shower or something like that, or I I wake up from my my chair. Things in perspective. Mm -hmm. In perspective, what do you mean? In, pers in perspective means uh, to be focused. Ah, focus. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, in my case, I try to do the things in perspective, always, because yeah. I okay. I don't yes I don't um I don't I don't remember I I don't win anything if I. Uh -huh. Um, if I don't control about the situation. Yes, that is right. Yes, In your right. case, what? All right, let me let me help you with with some with, with something, Claudia. It's not pronunciation. It's pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation. Shan. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh -huh, okay. No, no, Sean. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. All right, close enough. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, in my case, uh -huh. for example, I work under a lot of stress. And one of the characteristics of this job is that we have to keep things in perspective because if uh -huh. you lose something, you can. You can stay. You can. You can. You can have a, a lot of trouble. So, and that helped me in my uh, 
uh, life also. So I guess I have uh, almost everything in control because I try to keep all the things in perspective. It doesn't matter yeah. if, I, if I am and, uh, under a lot of stress or not. Nowadays, I'm not. I'm keep in, I keep staying in troubles, in troubles because, you know, I have many responsibilities and I have to do the thing, the things in the best way ever because I have, to, I have children. So I have to try to, to be an example for them and especially in my work because it's a good, it's a good job. I think that it's a good job because I have many opportunities to grab as a professional. And that's why I'm, I'm studying. So I can study. say that when I, I study. Oh my gosh, study. where are you? <laughs> okay. That's all right. <laughs> But yes, I can say that when I was younger, yes, I keep, I kept in trouble, but not <laughs> yes, not currently. That, that would be, um, by the way, let me, let me help you with that. That would be, I kept getting in trouble. I kept getting, okay. I kept getting in trouble. Why would you, kept, why would you keep yourself getting in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, that's okay. that's okay, that's okay, don't worry. All right, anyways, it's time to go back, okay? Good job, girls. Okay. Oh, I was uh, muted. Hello there, hello. <laughs> All right, uh, good job, guys, uh, good practice. I think Thank that you. you understood pretty well this, this part, guys, I don't see. I didn't notice any trouble, okay? Just remember that the fact that you see here, let me pull it up again. So the fact that you see here a um, keep or stay, all right, it doesn't mean that you're going to use both at the same time, okay? So it's either one or the other one, okay? So when you see uh, when friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch, right? You can say, oh, yeah, I stay, I stay in touch with it, or you can say, I keep in touch with them, all right? Just a heads up, guys. All right. Beautiful, guys. So let's get to the main topic, okay? We're going to talk about used to and would, okay? Tell me, all right, um, if I if I mute you guys, I'm sorry, I'm just, just, just going to mute you just because there is background noise, okay? Uh, Claudia, all right, Claudia Tovar, would you please tell me something that you had when you were a kid but now you don't. Claudia? I think she's not there. All right, Stephanie. Sorry, guys. Uh, Stephanie, all right. Uh, oh, there you go, Claudia. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh, repeat the question, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you please tell me, okay, uh, tell me something that you had when you were a kid, but now you don't. Or something you know that you wear when you were a kid, or and now you 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 know you are not, or something that you didn't have when you were a kid, or and now you have. Uh, for example, um, and let me see. Nothing, guys. I, there's a lot of things, right? I didn't have I didn't have money when I was a kid. Uh -huh. Right, I didn't have. I, I didn't. I, no, I, didn't. I, I didn't used to. I, I didn't used to have. No, no, just, just the just the things that you didn't have. You you don't need to use used to. We're gonna explain that in a moment, okay? Just tell me the thing. Uh, yeah. The car, for example. You didn't have a car, okay? Uh, so you say I didn't uh, have a today, car. Today, today I have a car, but in the past I didn't have a car. Very good. Okay, good job, right? What about you, Eric? What's something that you didn't have or you, you do have or you did have back then and now you don't? And now you don't or you, you do? 
Oh my god, that's getting confusing. Huh? Eric, Eric, did I say Edgardo? Eric, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> nothing. Okay, Laura. All right, tell me something that you didn't Hello? have. Or you, okay, there you go, Eric. All right, okay. tell me. Tell I, me. I said twinkle. You said what? I said twinkle. I guess twinkle, twinkles. I don't know if that that is the right name. When twinkle. I was the kid or young, yeah. Uh -huh. the, 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 those kind of uh, uh, that the, the 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 things that appear in your face when you are oh, young, you, you have, have wrinkles. Any, those kind of things. Wrinkles. R yeah, wrinkles. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You didn't have wrinkles. Now I have. Okay. Now I now now I now I do. Okay. Very good. Okay. Awesome, guys. So notice the pattern, guys. Okay. Um. Can somebody help me read number one? Let's see, Sandra. Okay, Sandra, help me read number one, please. The example number one. You always used to make me laugh. You always used to make me laugh, okay? All right, if you tell that to your boyfriend or husband, whatever, does that mean, guys, that her husband or boyfriend still makes her laugh or not? <laughs> That's very no. sad. No. Really. No. All right. Very good. Okay. So he's going to get. Thank you next, right? <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, guys. So what about guys? Okay. Very good. Okay. So now, okay. So let's, let's, I don't know the name of your couple, if you do have or not, but let's call them Corona Verde. Okay. So Corona Verde. All right. Doesn't make Sandra laugh anymore okay all right so this is the sad truth now right very good all right guys so what about classes didn't used to be so difficult come on they are easy with me right all right so what about this guys does, does this mean that uh they're difficult now or that they are easy now they are they're difficult, difficult now. now they're difficult now okay you're getting the hang of it all right very good, guys, okay? So we use it for describing actions or situations which are no longer with us, okay? Or, you know, sometimes we also use it for talking about habits. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna get there soon, okay? Let's, uh, who would like to help me read this? All right, Emer, help me read, Hi. please. Remember the way we will sit around talking very good by the way guys the pronunciation for this how do you pronounce this guys wood. everybody very good wood okay how do you pronounce this wood wood it is the same pronunciation guys wood wood okay don't say wool wool guys wood. all right this is lana okay whenever you say wool right mira te voy lana invitar a salir right no all right I would. Romantic. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so, all right. So remember the way we would sit around and talking, okay? All right. So now, guys, the, what what do you think about this? Was this something that happened just once, or that, okay, did it happen just once, or was it something? Habitual. Habitual. What do you think, guys? If I say, remember the way we, we would sit around talking, was that something that happened you know, multiple times or just once? Multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times, guys. Okay, so you use would, okay? You use would when you are referring to something that happened, you know, in a, cont in a daily basis. Or not a daily basis, guys, but, you know, often, okay? All right. Okay. So I would see I would see some great jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. Okay. All right. So this is another thing that would happen, you know, like constantly, right? Very good, guys. Uh, let's get into the structure. Okay. All right, guys. So if the sentence is affirmative, we use. Used to. Used to. Very good. Okay. We use used to. Example. 
I used to get up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Okay. All right. So let me ask. Okay, I'm just going to start from left to right. Laura, what did you use to do when you were a kid? Well, when I was a chill, I used to child. play with my brother. When I was when I was a, a child, I used to play with my brothers, but not anymore. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, one clap for Laura. Good job. All right, let's kill that mosquito. Very good, Emer. All right, Emer, what do you used to do when you were a kid? I used to play with my friends. You used to play with my friends. Okay, very good. Okay, one clap for Emer. Very good. Okay. All right, Eric, what do you used to do when you were a friend? When you were a kid? I'm sorry. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to play soccer a lot. Right, you used to play soccer a lot. Very good. Woo, good job. Sandra, same question. When I was a kid, okay, when I was a kid, I used to ride my bicycle. You used to ride your bicycle. Good job, right? Good, good, good. Job. Okay, three claps for her. Uh, Claudia, all right, same question. What do you used to do when you were a kid? Excuse me. When I was a kid, uh, I used to study a lot with my parents. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, just just a heads up, guys. Okay. This is a short, a short I. Okay. Remember yesterday I gave you a link, guys. So you, can, you can practice those vowels. Okay. The sound of this is E. Repeat, Claudia, E. E? Okay. No, not E. E. Just like when somebody, you know, pretend that somebody punches you and you're like, hey, just like somebody punched you in the in the chest, okay? And you go like, eh. Very good, okay? Kid. Kid. Very good. That's how you pronounce it. It's not kid, it's kid. Got it? All right, very good. Okay, okay. All right, it's not parents, it's parents. Uh, parents, okay. All right, that R guys in Spanish, all right, don't use it, okay? It's parents, not parents, or parents. 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 Okay. Good job. Okay. All right, thank you, thank Claudia. You. All right, Stephanie, same question for you. Okay, when I was a child, I used to go swimming. Very good, okay. Now, be careful too, guys. It's not child, it's child. There is a D at child. the end, right? Repeat, child. 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 When child. I was a child. Then I was a child. When I was right. a child. Very good. Child. Okay. Good job. All right. Awesome, guys. Okay. Awesome. You got the hang of it. Now, if the sentence is negative, you use. What do we use? Wouldn't. We use didn't. Didn't. Used to or would not, right? Yeah, or would it? Very good. Not. Very good, Laura. All right. Awesome, guys. So, examples. I didn't used to oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often, okay? All right? You can use both of them. Now, with this, with this, is this talking, guys, about something that used to happen a lot or not? So, is it something that happened once or frequently? Frequently. Frequently, guys. Especially, guys, because you have a frequency adverb here. Do you remember what the frequency adverbs are? A very use the frequency? No. All right. Don't worry. Okay. So that's always, all right, usually, often, Always. Sel Always. seldom, often. all right, never, Always. rarely, all right, all right rarely, etc. Okay. All right. So you can tell that by the frequency after because you're talking about something that was referred to, uh, referred to in the past. Okay. All right. Are we following so far? Yep. All right. Yep. Tell me something that you were not used to when you were younger, Laura. What is something that you were not used to when you were younger? Well, I didn't use to visit to my to my father. I didn't used to visit my father. My father. I'm sorry. All I right. didn't use to visit my. I didn't use visit or right. used to. Used to. That, no, that, that, part is, to... that part is correct. Correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So okay. I didn't used to visit. Remember, guys, the that V sound. By the way, guys, there's a difference between these two vowels. Okay. All right. This one, guys. Okay. 
This one right here, this is a ba ba ba, right? You use both of your lips, right? That's why it's called labial labial dental sound, okay? Like Bible, right? But this guys, this is a sound, okay? You use your voice, okay? It's like when you see a toxic coming or like toxic and you're like, Ooh, right? <laughs> you bite your lips, okay? So okay. Visit. Repeat visit. 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 Okay, very good. Visit. Visit. All right, beautiful, guys. Beautiful. All right. All right, good job. All right, plus for Laura, guys. Good job, Laura. Pick someone. Pick someone else. Emer. Emer. Let's go, Emer. Same question. Example. No, no, no. Same question. What was the question? I don't know. All right, can somebody else ask the question, guys? Uh, Sandra, what, what was what, okay, it's Laura. Let's go, Laura. What didn't you used to What didn't you used to do when you when you were young? I, I think. Okay, what didn't? Okay, good job, good job. Um, I didn't. What didn't? To... And then we need a subject here, okay? So what didn't? Didn't who? Use? What didn't you use didn't to? What didn't you oh. use to do when you were a kid? Okay, very good. Good job. Thank I, you, Laura. I did it. Did you say yo? No. What? You said yo. Yo. I don't know. Young. Youth. Young. Oh, young. Okay. Young. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. When you were when you were. Young, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What didn't you uh, used to do when you were young? I didn't used to work from morning right. to afternoon. Very good. Okay. Life was easier, it's right? Really sad. It is. It's guys. guys, oh my God. You have no idea. Like, whenever you, like, when you, when you become an adult, sometimes you have to work. Like, I, I like, I didn't used to work this much, but Jesus Christ. I work a lot nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, um, very good. So let's see, uh, Stephanie. All right, give me one last example, Stephanie. Okay, let me see. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't used to stay awake, stay uh, awake up all night. All right, I didn't used to stay awake uh, all night. All right, I didn't used to stay awake all night. All right, good job. Let's for Stephanie, guys. Good job, guys. Beautiful. All right. Hey, let me give me an example. With, I wouldn't, guys. What about I wouldn't? Uh, Eric, could you please give me the same question, Eric, okay? But give me the example with wouldn't. When I was young, I wouldn't go to dancing parties. Very good. I wouldn't what? I wouldn't go to dancing parties. To dance, oh, to dancing parties, okay. All so, right, yeah. all right, so now you do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, he doesn't want to say it because he's, 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 I don't he's, think he's, so. His wife is watching. It's just an example. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you better say that now, huh? All right, guys, good job, guys, okay. All right, you could say, guys, okay, now, can I ask a question with would, guys, or only with didn't? Can I say, um, can I say, would you, what is something, can I say, what is something that you wouldn't, all right, wouldn't do when you were younger? Was it, would, would this be correct? What do you think? No. All right. Yeah, actually, yes, guys. Okay. All right. It, it is correct. You, you can say it like that. Okay. However, guys, when you're asking questions, okay, I recommend you using didn't. Okay. All right. For questions, right? Because people just use it like that. Okay. Do we have any question here, guys? Yes. No. We're good. I have a question. Go ahead. Would in this case is would not would would yes would would uh -huh. in this in this case 
it is like something that I, I would like to do or something I, that, that I, I would not that I would I would I would yeah uh -huh. like to do or something that I used to do or is the same all right But, all right listen don't get confused with uh, with what you're what you're saying is a, a real situation right when you're talking about the future a possible future oh I wouldn't like to go there you know for example right But this is not the same structure, okay? We're talking about the past, okay? When you use, for example, when I say this, I wouldn't go to the gym so often, okay? This is referring to something that, uh, uh, this is referring to an action that used to happen in the past, okay? Got it? All right, so this is the same, I say, this is exactly the same, I don't know if this answers your question, okay? This is exactly, The same as saying I didn't use to go to the gym so often. Got it? It means the same, man. All right, very good. All right, anybody else? Anybody else with questions? No? We're good? All right, guys. Okay, so both used and would can express can express what guys action in the an action an action that was repeated regularly in the past okay but all right but um only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past okay that is the big difference okay so if you see in the assessment guys hey what's the difference between used to and would okay you can say you know what both of them can be used to express Regular, um, regularity in the past, but only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past, okay? All right, very good guys. So let's answer these questions guys, okay? So let's work in couples, okay? Um, take a screenshot if you are so kind, please send it to the group. Or maybe I will. Please. All right. All right. And you're going to decide, guys, okay, if you should say would or used to here, okay? So, for example, is the answer, I used to have short hair when I was a teenager, or I would have short hair when I was a teenager, or both, okay? Is it? We would go to the same little cafe for lunch every day when I was a student, or we used to go to the same little cafe for lunch every day when I was a student. What do you think is better? All right. So let's work in couples, guys. And, uh, and that's it. Okay. Any questions? By the way, I mean, you can, you can write them down in your notebook. Okay. All right. So let's go. All right, guys. Hello, Lupita. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sandra. How are you? I'm excellent. Okay, I'm you? glad to you that. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's let's start. Uh, first of all. Mm, let's see the first one. I would or used to have short used hair to. when I was a teenager. Yes, used to. I used to have short hair when I was a teenager. Yes. Okay, uh, what do you think about the second one? Used to, too. Yes, <laughs> used to, too. We used to go to the same little cafe for lunch every day when I was a student. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Uh, okay, let me see the third one. She used to love playing badminton before she... Uh, no, in this case, I think it would be... I think in this case is would. She I would think love same. playing badminton before she hurt her shoulder. Uh, what do you think? Yes, I think the same. She okay. will love playing badminton before she hurt her shoulder. Yes. 
Yes, yes, you're right. Okay, let's see. He would versus used to walk along the beach every evening before bed. Uh, in this case, I think it will be used to, to. Yeah. Number five, I, um, I used to always lose when I played chess with my father. Yes. Yes, yes. That's used to. Hmm. All right. Uh, take a look at the frequency adverb, okay? Does it sound right when you say I used to always? No. I always um. used to. <laughs> all right yeah all right remember that when you use frequency adverbs right you you would use would okay i would always i would usually i would mm -hmm. often okay 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 good job i'll be right back we, we would go well, sure. I know that we can use would when an action in the past with an action verb. So in this case, I think that we can use both as well because okay. we will go is an action verb. Yes, so we you're will right. go to the same little ca ca little coffee, coffee for lunch every day when I was lunch a student. When I, was a student. Yeah, I think that we can use both. And yes, right. the third, she is that that's mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's not because it's an a feeling action, and okay. I think that we we must use used to, used to, yes. I don't know what you think about, yeah. Let's say, let's uh, do the sentence she used to love playing badminton before she hurt her shoulder, yeah. She, she would, used yes. to love. I guess it's only used to. What is the meaning of badminton? Badminton. It is a it is a game. Ah, okay. Yeah, a, a game she, similar to the she... maybe to the tennis. Let me oh. let me give you a tip, guys. Um, let me give you a tip, okay? <laughs> when you, when you use when you use wood, okay? If you see, there are some of them that they're really self-explanatory because you cannot use both of them, right? The structure wouldn't allow you to use both of them. But a tip that I can give is that whenever you use wood, it's usually accompanied by a frequency adverb. Do you remember what frequency adverbs are? Yes. Like always, often, usually, so on and so forth, right? So yeah. for things, okay, that you used to have, you use used to for things that, you know, and used to and, and would can be used interchangeably, okay? However, guys, for example, take a look at number four. Is it used to or would? It's would. Very good. Why would you say it's would and not used to? Because... Well, I, I understand that we can use would when we add an action, action verb in the action verb. Whenever, I uh, okay, very good. Right? It is, it is would, okay, you're correct about that. However, it's because it says every evening before bed, right? So it's because it's a, it's a repeated action and also because of what you said, okay? Good job, all right? Continue. So the first one okay. is used to. I'll give you the answers later, okay? Just finish. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna see the, the answers later. I don't know, email. Hello guys, by, by the way, let me help you guys. Teacher. Remember that. Teacher. When... Go ahead, Teacher, uh, uh, we have a question. Uh, in what case uh, we choose use wood all right wood can be used whenever an action was repeated in the past all right repeated in the past yes a frequent a frequent action in the past 
used to can be used for that as well, okay? But only used to can be used for things that you used to have in the past, okay? Also, guys, a tip that I will give you is would can, would can be used with frequency adverbs, okay? So usually you're going to have, you know, something denoting uh, a repeated action in the past when you ah, have okay, okay. frequency adverbs. Like always. All right, very Always good. is, 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 uh, okay, okay. Is, not is, is. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. The action is repeating the past and used to uh, when when, when I mean, the action. Both of them can be used for actions repeating repeating in the past. Okay, but only if you see a frequency adverb, just you know, choose would. All right. Okay. For example, in six sentences, she for, used. For example. Uh -huh. for example in sixth sentence, she used to be able to dance very well. All right, you could say that, yeah. Both of us. She so used right. to be able to dance very well, right? Yes, that is great. Oh, she would she would be able to dance very well. That would be incorrect. Okay, the right way to say there that would be she used to be able to dance pretty well. All right. We can use the both. No, that the right one would be used to. Ah, okay, okay. No? Very good, very good. along the beach every evening before bed or no 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 it's with used to right used to he used to walk along the beach every evening before bed okay just let me check this Okay, and number, number, not number four. Um, I know we already discussed that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we finished. All right. Beautiful, okay. So we are gonna go back now. Hello there. Very good, guys. Welcome back. All right, guys. Okay. So let's get down to business. All right. So what do you think the answer for number one is, uh, Imer? I used to have short hair when I was a teenager. All right. I used to have short hair when I was a teenager, right? We use used to, guys, because it's something, right? Remember this rule. This one right here, okay? An action that was, uh, I'm sorry, only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past, okay? All right? So, all right. Very good job, okay? The answer is used to. Very well done, Emer. Good job. Number two, Stephanie, what do you think number two is? Oh, Stephanie, you are muted. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't notice. That's okay. Okay. Uh, we used to go to the same little cafe for lunch every day when I was a student. Very good. Is it we used to go to the same little cafe for lunch every day when I was a student or we would go? What do you think, guys? Who has a different answer? Do you all have the same answer? We used to go... Yeah. I thought it was wood because we have a special phrase of time there every day. Very good. Because of this, okay? The answer here is, the, you know, the, the frequency of the action, right? We're having an, uh, you could say, guys, we used to go to the same little cafe, you know, when I was a student. But since we have every day here, the note, you know, that an expression, an expression of frequency, all right, then it is wood. We would go, okay? Very good, Sandra. Good try. I mean, you're not incorrect, but 
you know, uh, it's better to use would when you use, you know, phrases or adverbs of frequency, okay? All right, number three, all right, uh, let's see. Eric, what do you have for number three? I guess for number three, it's only used to. We used to love play, playing badminton before she caught. Beautiful, her good shoulder. job, good job, perfect, okay. Claudia, number four. Okay, number four is he could walk along the beach every evening before bed. All right, that is that is also correct, okay? But the pronunciation is wrong, Claudia. He would, not okay. could, all right? Good. Every, not every. He would. Yeah, he could walk not, along not, the beach. Every... Not, not good, all right? But all right, let's practice. Whenever you have time, all right, let's practice consonant sounds, okay? I, I sent you the, the link so you can practice consonant sounds, okay? He would, not good, okay. all right? <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> number five, guys. Number five. So, what is number five? Uh, let's see. Laura, number five. Oh, there is a frequency adverb here. Oh, Laura, you're muted. <laughs> I think that she doesn't know that she's muted. I think that is, I used to always lose. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, when we have a frequency adverb, what are we going to use? With. With, right? All right, very good. All right, so uh, just notice that frequency adverb. Good job. All right. All right, so number six. What about number six, guys? What do, we, what do you have? Used to. She used to be able to dance very well. Very good. Okay, she used to be able. You cannot say she would be able, guys, okay? That that is that doesn't make sense, okay? All right, very good. Uh, what do we have for number seven, okay? Emer, one more time, Emer. My grandfather would drink a cup of coffee after dinner every night. Very good, okay? All right, but, okay, that, that's actually correct, okay? All right, uh, number eight. Sandra. Luke didn't used to have a car. Very good. Luke didn't used to have a car. Okay, good job. Number nine, Laura. We used to live in Brazil. We used to live in Brazil. Okay, very good. Number 10. Um, number 10 is Stephanie. Okay. Uh, my family will often go to the countryside for the weekend when I was young. Beautiful. Okay. Remember frequency adverb, frequency adverb, expression of frequency. Got it? Got it, guys? Yep. Got it. All yep. right. Got beautiful, it. Beautiful, 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 guys. Any questions? <laughs> questions, questions, questions? All right. Did we understand this topic, guys? Yes. All right. Great, guys. Great, 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 great. Okay. All right, do my favor, guys. Today, guys, tomorrow, you don't have a class, okay? So what I need you to do, though, is that I need you to finish. I mean, you can finish the whole platform if you want, okay? But I need you to send me a screenshot with the section number one completed at 100%, okay? So you're going to come here, okay? You're going to come to, uh, you're going to come here. You're going to go to progress, yes? So you're going to click on progress, all right? And then I want to see this. This this is the screenshot that I want, guys. Okay, this right here. Okay. This has to say right here, it has to say 100 percent Got it? Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right, guys. It's been nice being with you. Um, if you don't have any further questions, I will see you on Monday. Okay. Take care, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 B